McGill crunch, very similar to a traditional crunch in the sense, right? But a much smaller movement, and we're going to use those hands under the low back to really facilitate the tuck of the tail underneath, that posterior pelvic tilt, and finding that true braced core position. So as I start, my legs are going to rest down, hands can come underneath, right underneath the hips, kind of forcing that lower back down onto the ground. Feet rest down, and from here I'm thinking collarbones down tension. We don't want any of that in the neck. Ribs to hips, right? And nice and slow, curling up, hold, and down. If we do it right, and you can, might be able to see mine, I can feel it. We have that little shake as we keep that core nice and tight. So it's a tiny, tiny movement. We don't want any tension in the neck, and we want those ribs connected to the hips the entire time. 